Today, we're gonna to be reviewing some new stuff. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So Left Coast just dropped this brand new dual chamber disposable, and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and cop that, because the only person, or there's two people that I've only ever seen them do this, and that was Cookies, the other one was a black market brand. And in my personal opinion, the Cookies didn't really do it that good because their flavors were just really lacking, all right? So today, I'm gonna to be trying Left Coast dual chamber chamber and not only that but we're gonna be trying the Maui pineapple flavor right here which is gonna be a CDT pod I also got their bigger battery so we're just gonna be unboxing all three of those and giving you guys my 100% honest thoughts you know you already know how it is over here right none of this is fabricated we always give our 100% honest thoughts and you know people have hated us for that not gonna lie I've had companies reach out to me via DM like honestly calling me all types of names I'm not gonna put them on blast. I would put them on blast, but I'm a, I'm a bigger man than that, you know? Maybe one day, who knows, maybe if I'm feeling like a savage one day, I need to expose some people. But yeah, with that being said, today, let's just go ahead and see how this left coast is hitting. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop straight into the newest one, which is gonna be the dual chamber, okay? Because I know a lot of you probably already know what the pod looks like or how it's titting like, but it's been like maybe over three years that I reviewed a Left Coast product. So this right here is gonna be two different flavors, okay? On one side, there's gonna be a sour diesel and on the second side, it's going to be a Maui Wowie. Honestly, I'm really digging the presentation that they got on here. It's looking very nice, honestly, right? The artwork on here, the switch the flavors, it's very enticing. It kind of makes you just want to hop straight into it. Now, on the back, it just says, enjoy the best of both worlds with our dual flavor vape. Now, I'm assuming, right? I'm assuming that it says switch the flavors. So it's not going to be what we all hope, where you can hit two of them at once and like kind of combine the flavors I companies have yet to do that if you know of a company that has like you know released a type of product like that where you can hit two atomizers at once and get two different flavors I'd be really intrigued in trying it out but I don't even think they have the technology for that to happen all right so without further ado let's just go ahead and open this straight up no wasting time and I honestly have some high hopes like I said in the beginning Cookies like could have done a way better job than what they did. They could have added some real fire stuff in there. And who knows, maybe it just was the batch that I got, but one batch is all it takes to give a company, you know, a little bit of a bad reputation, I guess, you know? So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what this is hitting. Like as soon as it comes out of the box, it comes in this little like card, all right? So it says, Power on, a press button five times. It has both of the strain names. Energetic, talkative, creative. And then the other one is energetic, uplifted, and happy. So, it, it, you know, they know what they're doing. They're not just putting two random flavors together just to get these out there. They're actually doing a little bit of research and making sure that it has somewhat of the same effects, right? So on the bottom, it just says, you switch on the bottom to change between flavors. Preheat, you can press the button two times. And this thing is a tank, all right? Let me go ahead and take it off of this little packaging right here, but this thing is a tank. I, I honestly love the design so far. It looks very heavy duty, and it looks like uh, something that I've never seen before because you could see both of the dual chambers right there has the left coast, has the S right here. I kind of, I'm digging that, you know, Sebi G S right there. It doesn't stand for me, but you know, it does look pretty dope, right? And on the other side, it has the Sour D, the Maui Wowie, has a little button right here on the bottom. Go ahead and click it five times. You see that little flashing light? And all there is to do is just take this off Go ahead on the bottom, it tells you which side it's on. It is USB-C rechargeable, so they kind of have everything already figured out for you. So now with the wasting time, I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in on the two clicks and it's gonna go ahead and get the cycle going. It's a preheat, so let me just go ahead and see how this is tasting. I don't know if it was the preheat setting that made it so hot or if it's just how the device is. It's not really hot, but it does give you a really big cloud. And honestly, it just absolutely annihil annihilated me off the rip. And that flavor right there was the sour diesel and you get a really good smooth 
a bit of like a can not candy but you do have a slight bit of sweetness with the dieseliness on the background and honestly in my personal opinion dude they are doing a really good job from the last time that i tried them i remember they were really good but this time you know trying it twice now this right here is some really good high quality end oil and you could taste it everything in the flavor the smoothness and this is what you're really looking for in a device like this and honestly when it comes down down to Disty, they really have it on lock. It's really one of those brands that everything that they come out with is usually gonna be fire. A lot of people put them above Stizzy, they put them above um, plug and play and stuff like that. And right now, I can say that it's some pretty high-end quality stuff. So let's go ahead and switch it down to the M, which is gonna be the Maui Wowie, and let's go ahead and see how that flavor's hitting. But off of the, that one first rip, bro, it just completely obliterated me. And I know you guys can already tell by my eyes and all the slow movements and stuff, but yeah, that flavor was good. Let's go ahead and see how the second flavor is tasting. Bro, these clouds just come out so massive, I don't even know how. That second one just absolutely got me. Like I said, this little device throws really huge clouds, and but the flavor that I got off of the Maui Wowie is a lot more tropical. You get a lot more tropical sweetness, kind of like a runcy candy kind of vibe, but it's obviously not that. But the Maui Wowie is for sure one of the best ones that I've had yet. And overall, this device right here, the dual chamber, I would say that it's levels above the one that Cookies made and any other ones out there right now. This right here is fire. I would love to see like a device like this, but with rosin, hopefully one day we can get it. But I guess this is good enough for now, right? They really, really, really nailed it right on the head with this one. So I would honestly have to say, you guys have to take into account for what it is, dual chamber. Yeah, it would have been cool to be able to hit both at the same time. Hopefully in the near future we'll have that. Both of the flavors were phenomenal. It hits like a train and it's overall aesthetically pleasing to look at. So I would have to give this a good solid 9.5 out of 10. It's really, really, really fire stuff, and I would like to try some more flavors, right? So big shout out to freaking Left Coast Extracts. Now, dude, I'm so blitzed that I kind of don't even want to hop into the second one, but I think that's what, I I, I don't know. I, I think we're just gonna help go ahead and leave that for another video because that's how strong the dual chambers are, right? I had a whole plan of unboxing everything, but the dual chambers really just absolutely got your boy blitz. So yeah, 9.5. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because I just don't feel like anything is a 10 out of 10 nowadays, right? Nothing is perfect. You know, there's always some room for improvement here and there, whether it's with the device and, or the oil. In this case, the oil is phenomenal. The device is really good, but I just would have liked to see that dual atomizer being able to be used instead of having that little switch, but it's just a personal preference, you know? It's just a personal preference at the end of the day, and yeah, 9.5 is what we're gonna leave it at. So once again, big shout out to Left Coast Extracts. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end out the review here. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to do your boy a favor by leaving a fat like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.